it's a good thing for them. They do not have a ton of depth this season. Boston from outside. And let's see the uh, reactions out of the timeout here, Debbie. Harris, a little fade. You come off the timeout, you overload, you clear it. Not the precision and the efficiency that we are accustomed to seeing from the Huskies offensively, and Boston with another swat on the drive or second block. Look for a ball screen from Boston. Harris off the hesitation, off the window, got it! The senior making the play. And they hold Connecticut to two points. Goes right to Harris. They've got numbers if they push. Ty will take it herself and lay it in. Harris is the leader for South Carolina. Dangerfield is exactly the same thing for UConn. For a, a two-loss UConn team. Oh, by the way, those two losses may be to the other two best teams in the country, along with South Carolina and Dangerfield. Harris will get the assist to Destiny Henderson, their leading scorer off the bench and finding ways to set up your teammates. We've typically seen UConn play off the pass. Yeah. They're not moving at all, and they're playing too much off the bounce. And Gino Oriama puts his hands on top of his head like he can't believe it. That is a big swing. Dawn Staley now in her 12th season. Everything really changed when she got Asia Wilson to commit the top recruit with her block and then got forced out. They bring the double. They leave Bree Beal to double Boston. Cook crosses back to the left side and scores on the drive. Missed the lane. Here comes Harris the other way. Ty Harris, stop, pop, got it! Watch Beal screen for Boston. Cook running the baseline, got some space and scores! That's a really good set Dawn Staley's gone to a couple of times. Oh, she's a great shot blocker. Boston. 15 footer knocked it down. He said, I know that we can play better and hit better shots. It's like they just have too much doubt, but it's my job to remove that doubt and help them get out of their own heads. Or energy. She's not coaching her culture. She's coaching basketball players and they can play. Harris shot in the middle third of the floor. I think that's where UConn's had their best scoring. Even Beal's knocking down triples. Zone for UConn. The 2 3 look and Boston delivers. They just get her to the short corner. They do from out there now. You got to come out and put a hand in her face. Knocked down her first three and her first attempt earlier tonight. Boston off the dribble, gets into the lane and gets the roll. It would be a third loss by double digits this year. That hasn't happened in 15 years with the previous losses to Baylor and Oregon as Harris lays it up and in. Herbert Herrick knocks down I mean, the mid-range. They're getting whatever they want. They Number one, South Carolina, 22-1 and one on the season. Winners of 16 in a row. Uh, Harris, the pitch to Kiki for three. You see. Well, they only play Maryland. once in a regular season, so they might meet him in the tournament. Yeah. That would be a second chance. Here's the other thing too, Beth. All those wonderful numbers about Ty Harris. She hasn't had a turnover. This to be the sixth. Every loose ball has gone South Carolina's yeah. way. They have been terrific on the glass, and they have been making all the hustle plays. And Ty Harris has been outstanding on the top of every National Player of the Year award list. A thousand points on their starting lineup in all WNBA players. Cook the breakaway. But having said that, maybe South Carolina's thinking you're going to have to go through them to get to the national championship because they are going to play their postseason tournament in Greenville. Harris fittingly has it in her hands to finish. And South Carolina, after eight tries and eight denies, have finally beaten UConn 70-52 to the final.